Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay in your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the, Jama of the Jamaican cooking journey, you have asked for it for so long. We're going to be preparing or going to be sharing with you Jamaican toto. Yeah, we are going to make some toto. We are going to look a flan flan. You know, back in the days when we were small in the country, I don't know me if a chat go back and sent me. I don't know say I might do that. See? We would call this flan flan. Now, toto is just a little household thing in Jamaica back then. But now, people have changed it. People have, you know, bring it to, you know, take it, just make it their own. I myself have developed a different toto recipe. You know, but I don't think I'll share that one on YouTube. I may share it on another platform. That one, I have, I've just done it differently. Other people have to, but I'm sharing with you today. This is the little torta thing where, look, a torta easily come out when you have some coconut trash, some fresh coconut trash, leaving back. On a Sunday when you would have cooked the rice and peas, say, so yeah, man, mama, look how when she looks, she see little flour did it. And a little sugar and sitting and a little vanilla and we are cooking the trash here. And a little baking powder in a pan, totally ready. You don't have to have a lot of stuff. You don't have to have, it's just a little, as I would have said. When we were going to school back then and the people that bake and said, would have said, yo, you're going to go buy flan flan. Yeah, man, flan flan. So back then, we would say flan flan. Flan flan is a little patwa thing that means a little flour sitting. You know, but you can dress up the toto, you can spice up the toto. So for this Jamaican toto, you need some coconut, and this is not the coconut though. This is more dry, but the green coconut or the yellow coconut. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave the link to that video on my other channel that they sh the, the, uh, my nephews in St. Mary showed you the different stages of the coconut. Okay? So you're going to be needing fresh coconut milk and some freshly, um, some fresh um coconut trash people would say they that what does whatever the coconut what they call it some desic i don't even remember the word you get the coconut trash that they buy and you get it in the freezer compartment of your supermarket or your grocery or whatever but you must be very careful with coconut because it goes bad easily it goes sour and when it goes sour it can give you a little belly problem so you must must make sure that the milk is fresh and also the trash of the coconut or the remainder of the coconut after you squeeze the milk it's fresh it's better whatever you're using it for it will be better okay so we are going to be using some coconut milk so i'm gonna um extract my milk from this and i'll be using the trash to put in there because look here the authenticity of this total it must have been some coconut trash and some coconut milk or if you don't have coconut milk, you should you could substitute water. When you put the dairy milk in at it, it's not authentic. You just put it in there for that. There it must be either water or fresh coconut milk. Okay? So I'm gonna get my coconut milk from this and I leave the remainder of the trash for my recipe. So you're gonna be needing some sugar, brown sugar. Should be even darker than this too. But me don't have the dark, dark one. So because I don't have the dark, dark sugar, I'm going to be using about like a teaspoon. This is my burnt sugar. And you, if you have watched my videos recently, you will see that I had done some brown sugar burning. I'm going to have this, this leaf box. I'm going to put a little of it. You could put a little molasses too because it must have a little, you know, not dark. You know, it's not supposed to be dark, dark. So you're going to need some sugar for about, this is a 12 by 8. You could also use a 13 by 9. And mind you, toto is something that you want to put in something that is rectangular or something square. You can't put it in at the round pan too, you know. But because it's supposed to come in cubes like little, you know, little squares, they always try to bake it in a rectangular 
or a square pan. This is 12 by 8. You could use 13 by 9. So for this 12 by 8, I'm using about a cup and a half of sugar. So if you're using a 13 by 9, it might want to get a little low down and enough to come too flat. You see what I'm saying? So you could probably go with a little more sugar or a little more flour. I'm using here about three and a quarter cups of flour. Also, I'll be putting a little table salt as usual. You know, salt often bring the flavors together. You're going to need some baking powder. And you're also going to be needing baking. Look, you're going to be needing some baking soda, bicarbonate of soda and baking powder. I'll show you the proportion. When baking powder and the baking soda goes together, it gives you that springy, springy taste in any pastry that you look, you put it in. And that is what you want for your total, a springy finish. This is not no chocolate. I just have a little um, mixed spice and it's the end of it. You can put a little almond essence. You're going to use some vanilla. And this is not compulsory, but we always put a little of this if you have it. You know, after go walk, run, leave the also go store. But you know, this will help with the look of preservation of the total and all of that. You're going to need some freshly grated nutmeg. Also, some some people use grated ginger i will use the ginger juice or if you have ginger powder i totally dislike the taste of the ginger string when it greater in any form or something pastry and everything so i put up to use the ginger juice or the ginger powder okay so basically those are what we're going to be using for this total so yes it's not nothing complicated some people put eggs I will not be putting any egg in this one. I have another recipe, as I said to you, that I, I, I put together that recipe for myself and I put egg in that one. Also, a little melted butter will be needed in this one. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to prepare my fresh coconut juice and I will return and we're going to wrap up. This is not nothing hard for mix up. It's easy. So we're going to go get our coconut juice out and I'll add that and when we return, our um, pan will be greased. I always try to grease my pan when baking my pans. When baking, me always like when my thing come out. You know, me not really want it to come out and end up that mother there do body work on the pan. You get what I'm saying? So I like to grease my pans to, to make sure it's on the safe side. Even though them say them are non-stick. But I like to be safe. So, catch you in the next clip. Family, I'm back. This is my coconut milk. Rich and nice. This is the remnants of the coconut, the trash. And uh, I did not say, when you grate it, you have a more refined texture. You know, grating it is the best way to have in the total. We have it here. I have blended it, you know, to the best in the Ninja. But I think maybe Vitamix, as according to what some people say. But grating it, if you can find the time to grate it, I think that the texture of the coconut trash when it's grated, it's better. Because back in the days, that's what they would use. Anyway, we are going to proceed now. So I have here my sugar. I've got here my flour. What I want you to take a very key note of is the raisin agents. We are using baking powder and baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. Now, you must always use like probably half of the quantity of the baking so the, the half of the quantity of the baking powder with to, as opposed to the baking soda that doesn't make sense let me clarify this whatever the baking soda measurement powder wow whatever the baking powder measurement is try to let the baking soda be a half of that or a little less when, when mixing these two raisin agents together, okay? Whatever the baking powder measurement is, make the baking soda or bicarbonate of soda proportion be half. I'm going to be putting one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Therefore, you're going to be putting a three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. May I go put that in the description? I'm going to put that the proportion of the baking powder and the baking soda. Because some people might get a little mixed up. So I'm going to be putting, uh, you can use your little dandy dandy um, teaspoon. I'm just going to be using my regular little baby teaspoon. I'm going to be putting one and a half of this as baking powder. And I'm going to be putting a three quarters of this as baking soda. Mm. Half of a teaspoon of salt. If you want to put more, you can make it. 
half of a teaspoon that is okay of salt all right when you mix the baking powder and the bicarbonate of soda together it has that foamy so if you don't know what you're doing it will just come right up even though you have a small amount and it'll just come right over the oven and then the thing that you're baking won't have anybody okay something that i have really experienced so i'm sharing it now let us put in our little um today what day is today what is happening to me today tell me what happened to me today i don't think i'm all that tired we're going to be putting in our cinnamon powder and our mixed spice me soon come i am back family oh no 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 you hold me to eat today this video is all over the place for the very first time or maybe the second time in the whole history of my cooking channel bear with me love me same way i had no cinnamon powder out so let's us go now and put in some cinnamon powder oh my god i'm putting putting in about a one and a quarter teaspoon not fully one and a half of cinnamon powder to the mixture if you are using more mixture you know you use more and i'm putting in just one teaspoon of mixed spice okay so all our powdered stuff have been in there except the nutmeg freshly grated nutmeg and this is what freshly grated nutmeg means and people are going to say be careful how you're doing this no man this is not my hand not me all and tough and barky we are doing this for a long time this so some freshly grated nutmeg do your thing me soon come back freshly grated nutmeg i may use about like almost about a quarter of this fresh nutmeg um this nut um don't use your hand as i do to crack your nutmeg use a nutcracker or something don't do as i do okay so all of our dry things are in here let's proceed now to mix them together as i said before oh this video is all over the place mm? Mm -hmm. we're mixing them so we got a look of stuff you know we've got with cinnamon powder that we never want coming out it was left in the cupboard we have got our mixed spice we have got our bicarbonate of soda um salt right here i did put some did i yes i did even though the brain i go i put my baking powder so all those are out of the way and my freshly grated nutmeg now i'm gonna put in about this is about a cup and a half of the coconut trash or whatever it is so you want to do that just the same continue mixing so we're putting all the dry ingredients together and then now we're going to be adding the wet ones and i'll add that okay so remember you know you must try to use a spoon the coconut powder is going to go in the dry flour and sugar and because it has moisture in there you will see some clumps so try to mix it until you eliminate all of them little lumps and clumps and what have you where you want we are gonna do this and we're gonna come right back to you eh right back at you and maybe this total never want to make i might have to redo this video you tell me let us try to stir up our little um coconut milk this thing is not supposed to come out too too thin nor extra thick it is just to be i'll show you so you're gonna put a little of this coconut milk here and something don't forget your melted butter that has been cooled. Melt the butter ahead of time and let it cool down. Don't bother just set the hot butter and just put it in it. So. so you want to just want to go too much, you know, because it's supposed to be a certain texture. Not to be too watery and not to be too thick. So you make sure it's all of that milk that you throw in. All of that is supposed to be properly evened out with the mixture before you throw again or else you will find yourself in a little problem and all of that mm? and it starts smelling so good right here with the coconut milk and all of them so the coconut milk just bring out the flavor of those dry spices and all of that a little more coconut milk and I'm not sure if we'll be there or we throw too much and all of that we're gonna go mix in all of this and we soon come a little ginger juice if you want to do your grated ginger or your ginger powder go ahead and put in that in ginger all right i'm using some vanilla for flavoring mm -hmm. a little of this niceness here almond essence not too much 
and we are put little of the good old whites. You see what me I say? Yeah, this have to preserve it and all of that. So let us look at this steering now. What would be really good here would be that yellow hammond essence. But COVID and me can reach at all. That would be a plus if you got the yellow hammond essence. Good to go. So let us go steer some more. And I think this is the, as soon as we get everything incorporated, because if you notice on the out there, it's more water than the in. That means it's not properly mixed in. So we are going to deal with that. And we are going to come back. See? Look at me here. So this is it. And if you had the darker sugar, it would be this white out. It would be a little darker. Okay? And if you add the almond essence, wow, with the dark sugar, perfect, perfect, perfect perfect color it would be so what you want to do right yes or no now that you see the coconut trash in there and all of that consistency good and all of that so what you want to do now you want to taste and my tasting my flavorings are on point i'm gonna go wash my hands and return i'm gonna add just a pinch of salt just a pinch more to bring it to par mm? and i'm gonna add right here one teaspoon of my sh um, burnt sugar or if you don't have this you could put a little molasses you know where would that be the you know deal with that color there so so we are stir up this tonight you know don't forget right over here very last the last thing your melted butter and this melted butter must be about two to two and a half tablespoons that is going to bring in some additional texture and you know how butter steer mm? we know what i'm gonna darker with this thing let's go finish and dissolve this and when you see me back the oven is there preheated 175 degrees 350 celsius 350 fahrenheit yeah we are gonna work with that color here we're not gonna more we don't want it no darker and all of that so we soon come this is my mixture my total mixture I have it there about half the pan. I'm going to be put, come on, when my total bake it come right up to the top. 175 for about 45 minutes in your oven. If your oven is too slow, you go 180. If it is too, you know, you know some oven more, so you can go 165. We catch you when this total is finished. Okay, family, so our total is out. And all of that, out of this work list over there. So... You see, I am having a, I don't have, I don't have any stick in, okay? And some people are going to say, Mr. Debbie, I can't wait for the water for cool, you know. I want my water hot, you know. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let it cool down a bit. And I'm going to come right back at you and try to show you how you slice this water, okay? Okay, so we do our water in cubes. I do mine in cubes. So... You might want to start. I always do it like this. Try to get it even. So you'll start right here. Very gently as you go along. Make sure your knife. And you try to get it out. Sometimes you might not get it even, you know. You know, but we want to take out a piece of it. God, let me tell you. Warm total is always the best. All of that. So we get it like this. And so remember tota is something that when you cut it it must look like this on the knife it's big okay because the coconut trash is in there keeping that moisture it must have this kind of like a sort of like a slight pudding texture hmm we're gonna finish up i'm gonna go coconut trash is so nice i'm gonna go finish um squaring this up come back and present it to you in a decent way okay okay family welcome back and this is let me show you first. This is my pan that I baked it in. And you can see. So try to use a grease paper. These are my finished total slices with no egg. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach. It is Jamaican total cake recipe. No egg. No egg. If you wanted to get it lighter, you can put your egg in. And I have another one for you, as I told you. I might or may put, I may put egg or may not put egg in that one. I am not sure, but I will see as we go. 
perfect color this is the color it's supposed to be and you choose your texture okay you must have it with some gum total or something but we have with gum and the coconut trash and all of that not as gummy as the pudding but not as light as cake but when you put the egg in there it will come out light so be you and do what you want to do if you want to get it a little lighter it's something that is heavy total or something originally original jamaican total cake is something that sort of heavy not as heavy as the pudding but it is sort of heavy and originally i never see my mom or anybody in the country putting an egg in theirs but everybody do them something different me not bash nobody so i do mine without egg and we were having a feast of camera whilst we were slicing up this total cake so please do enjoy now if you have liked this video remember to give it a big fat thumbs up a lot of people were asking for it and uh, um make sure that you're subscribed to the jamaican cooking journey let me tell you this video has been all over the place please forgive me whilst we started video as well and was on camera something came up emergency I had to run and deal with it not anything life-threatening just you know little emergency I had to go and deal with it and then my head went all over the place but nevertheless I tried to pull off this video I didn't want to waste it because I don't know when I would do back this video again for you so make sure you have your notifications on remember to make sure that you hit the bell when you do subscribe and all of that press option all all the information on how to get on to me will be in the description of the video remember that our little merch is out there thanks to those of you who have been supporting thank you so much remember to send me your little picture on instagram so i can thank you in a decent way remember to be you do you most of all love you